Hello guys, how are you doing again? Uh, we are going to continue with the example that I did last time. And the example that I did last time was the moment of inertia of a rectangular section with respect to the x-axis. The only thing we're going to do now, and I'm going to switch to camera, is uh, calculate the moment of inertia with respect to the y-axis now. This is the problem that we solved before. Now this is the formula for finding the moment of inertia with respect to the y-axis. So let's apply the same trick and the same formula that we did before. Once again, before I was measuring what? Y, because I used this. Now I'm going to measure what? X. Well, I'm going to measure X. This is X. If this is X, I'm going to try to select the differential of area perpendicular to that X, which would be this one here. This is my differential of area then. If that is my differential of area, this distance here, because I'm measuring x, is going to be the x. And this, the same reasoning, these two lines are parallel, this is going to be h. So my differential of area is going to be h times the x. Once you have that solved, solve the problem. I come here and I say I sub 0 y is the integral, I'm using this, of x squared multiplied by dA, but my new dA is this one h times dx. Now, what are the limits of integration? Same explanation as before. What I'm doing is just sweeping the whole section from this end to this end with my differential of area. And my center is here because it's re referred to the centroid and this is b and the centroid is located at the distance of b divided by 2 and b divided by 2. If I go to the left from the 0 to the left, this is going to be negative b divided by 2 to b divided by 2. Solving this, h outside, the same thing that we did before, h integral x squared dx from negative b divided by 2 to b divided by 2. This is h times x to the third divided by 3 between negative b half and b half. Plug this into here, hp cubed divided by 24 minus times minus plus h b cubed divided by 24. It, that implies that the moment of inertia with respect to y is equal to h b cubed divided by 12. Now, compare these two values for with respect to x and with respect to y. Basically, the only thing that we did is getting this set of axes and rotating it like that. Because if I apply the same formula that I have here, bhq divided by 12, and now I just rotate my figure, h becomes b and b becomes h. So it would be h, b to the third, divided by 12. In the next video, I'm going to solve the triangular shape. That's a really important, really interesting case, and then we're going to keep adding and adding and adding. Keep watching guys and I see you next time. Have a good day.